హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఒఫా స్టడీస్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ దిస్ ఈజ్ పార్ట్ థర్టీ ఇన్ పైస్పార్క్ ప్లేలిస్ట్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ జాయింట్స్ ఓన్లీ సో ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ సీన్ పార్ట్ ట్వంటీ నైన్ వీ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ వాట్ ఈస్ జాయిన్ ఫంక్షన్ అండ్ వీ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ఫ్యూ జాయింట్స్ దేర్ లైక్ ఇన్నర్ జాయిన్ లెఫ్ట్ జాయిన్ రైట్ జాయిన్ అండ్ ఫుల్ జాయిన్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ కంటిన్యూయేషన్ వీడియో ఫర్ ద ప్రీవియస్ వీడియో సో ప్లీజ్ వాచ్ ఇట్ then watch this video so that you will get most out of it and you will get a clear idea about what we are discussing so this video focused on other three types of joints like left semi joint left anti joint and self joint so firstly what is left semi joint so left semi joint is actually similar to inner joint only if you remember inner joint will give you matched rows from both the tables okay that means from both the data frames here also you will get matched rows only but the columns it will get only from the left data frame let me practically show you that so that you will make sense of it so let me go to browser here i have already opened my databricks workspace and in this let's try to create a let's go to workspace let's go to users and my username and here i will try to create a notebook here and let me name it like a join to notebook okay and python is a language this is my cluster so let me create this notebook here once the notebook create i will create a data frame there actually so for that i have some code already written so let me copy paste and explain you this this is the same code what we used in our previous video so here what we are doing is we are basically creating two data frames one is employee data frame another one is department data frame employee data frame has these columns id name salary department department data frame has id and name column and if you see this is employees information this is department's information let me hit shift enter to execute this code and show you the data frames first so that you will understand the examples easily so here if you see employee data frame has three rows mahir wafa and abcd which has department ids here department data frame also has three rows it department hr department payroll department if you closely observe this row has a department id 4 which is actually not available in the department data frame that means this is a mismatching row when you perform some kind of join between department id columns from both the data frames similarly there is a pay payroll department which has a department id 3 and no employee belongs to that particular department if you see the department column there is no department id 3 here so my department data frame also has one non matching row similarly my employee data frame also has one non matching row so this is the data we have in the data frames so with this idea we know that when we perform a inner join it will get the matching rows so let's say if i perform inner join based on the department id columns then it will give you these two rows and when it comes to columns all the columns from the employee data frame and all the columns from the department data frame so this is all we already discussed in our previous video so let me practically run and show you the same thing i am not going in detail of the syntax of writing join function and all because we have discussed that in our previous video so here i will be directly writing the code so that's why i encourage you to watch the previous video so to the join function i am passing my department data frame and uh, on top of employee data frame i am performing join so this will become left data frame and this will become right data frame and what is the condition from the employee data frame take department column match it with uh, department data frame id column if the match founds then return the rows because i am using a inner join here so finally let's try to use a show function here to show the data frame let me hit shift enter and uh, if you closely observe the result here if you see here we got two rows only all the matching rows and when it comes to columns from here to here it's employee data frame columns from here to here it's department data frame columns so now i said left semi so when i use left semi what will happen it will does the same thing as inner join that means it will give you this, this same data but it will get only columns from the left table 
that means it will only get this part id column name column salary column department column why because my depart my employee data frame is my left table here so our left data frame here so when i practically run that you will see only those columns let me hit shift enter to execute this cell and see the results so i am executing a cell okay there is some error here there is some uh, okay left semi right i spelled incorrectly so let me hit shift enter to execute this code and now if you see i got the matching rows from the left data frame so that is what left semi will do sorry left semi will do now left anti what left anti will do it will do exactly opposite to the left semi it will also get the columns from the left data frame but it will get the rows like non matching rows not matching rows so for example here these two are matching rows employee d1 and employee d2 are matching rows when you compare with the department data frame so only those two rows came here when it comes to left anti it will avoid the matching rows and it will get the non matching rows only from the left data frame so let me use here left anti and let, let me hit shift enter to execute this code and examine the results here my command is running here and my command executed successfully now if you see we got only employee id 3 which is available in my employee data frame and which is actually not matching row when you compare with the department data frame so now let's understand the another thing here self join so this is very important thing i mean usually in the sql also you might have seen many self join examples it is very similar to that your data frame joining with the same data frame let's assume you have a employee data frame and you are joining it again with the employee data frame then it called as a self join so in which scenarios this kind of uh, requirement will come let me practically show you that so for that let me take this code let me create a new data frame here by taking this code and i will explain you that code in just a bit so let's go to browser and here let me paste it so what i am doing it here is i have a schema id name and manager id let's assume this is employee table in which every employee id will be there every employee name will be there and who is a manager of that employee that information also will be there and employee ids will start with one let's assume so we have three employees here mahir wafa and asi and if you see wafa has a manager id of one that means mahir is a manager of wafa then asi has a manager id of two that means wafa is a manager of asi but when it comes to mahir the manager id is zero why because there is no manager let's assume he is like a top manager okay so that's why i kept as a zero so now what i want is i want to get all the employee names and also their manager names side by side in a single table or in a single data frame so in this scenario i want i have to perform a self join join with the same data so let me practically show you this so let me create a data frame so data frame creation code is there so let me hit data frame dot show to show the data frame first here you can see your data frame here now so now what we can do is let me do one thing let me write a code of self join so this data frame join then with the same data frame this is what we have to do so before doing that it is best because same data frame you are joining it right so two times instead of using the same name try to have a different name so that it is easy for you and also it will not create any problem or a syntax issue so what i will be doing it here is i am giving an alias name for this data frame let's say like this is like a employee data okay so i am giving an alias name for my data frame that's it joining with this new data same data frame and this time here i am giving alias name like manager mgr data so that means like a manager data okay so i given a alias names for both the data frames for simplicity and also it will avoid any issues okay so now here after this i have to write a condition here and then i have to mention a join type so let's assume i want to do inner join only then finally close it so how to mention a condition here so to mention a condition what you should do is you should take a column of let's assume this is a employee data from the employee 
uh, data take a manager id and that means this columns and then match it with manager data employee id information so that it will actually do a mapping of manager ids with the employee ids so that we can get a manager names so maybe a little confusing when i write a condition and when i do that exact thing you will make sense of it so i am using a join joining on this particular uh, data frame then let's use a slash here to write a code in a multiple line and then here let's use another slash and let's write our condition here so what i want to do is uh, let me import a column so to represent a column in pyspark.sql.functions there is a a uh, function called column so let me import that column so for this column i can mention i can point to column so from my employee data data frame employee data data frame is this one only take manager id column okay and this one match it with take manager data data frame and again what is manager data data frame this one only point it to employee id column so that means id column so this will be my condition okay so this is how you will write the condition now finally let's use a show function and let me hit shift enter and observe the result here now if you see what happened it is getting me wafa rc why why because wafa also has a manager id rc also has a manager id so it matched the corresponding managers information by doing a self join but mahir didn't came why because zero id is not there with zero there is no employee information so that is the reason what i will be doing i will be using a left to inner here to get that manager to get mahir employee information also so let me hit shift enter and now if you see okay there is some error let me check here oh sorry it's not left in or right i should mention like a left join shift enter and now now if you see all the three employees information came so for wafa man, manager id is one and manager employee id one is mahir so mahir as a manager it came similarly for is asi manager id is two so manager id two that means with two there is a employee called wafa so that came as a manager but for mahir there is no manager so it came null here so like this you can perform a self join so after this maybe i want to take only employee name column and manager name column then what you can do it here uh, let's remove the show function here so slash then let's again write a select function on top of this and uh, let's try to select the columns so i am going to select column of this this is left table is employee data right so from the employee data from the employee data take name column and uh, take it as a i am giving alias name like a emp name okay so take this column also i want to take a manager name column right so from the manager data name column take it as manager name so i am giving alias name here basically so take it as a manager name mgr name okay then finally show so let me hit shift enter to execute this command now i i will get employee name and manager name information for wafa mahir is manager for rc wafa is manager for mahir there is no manager so now it came so this is how in real time you can use self join so i hope you got an idea especially self join and left semi and left anti joins if you haven't got please watch this video multiple times so that you will make sense of it thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much